You know why I don't have money? Because of this person that did this to me. And do you ever catch yourself giving yourself a story, telling yourself that you don't have things in your life because of someone or something? Now, I'm here to tell you that everything absolutely everything is your fault and when I say it's your fault it's not a critique it's not something to bring you down it's not talking about the things you do not control absolutely not because obviously things that you don't control have nothing to do with you and are none of your business what people think of you what people have done to you in the past, whatever victimhood that's holding you back, that has nothing to do with the results that you're getting today. You see, the results you're getting today absolutely have only to do with one thing, the person you're looking at in the mirror, you yourself. And if you really want to take your life back, you need to come to that realization of no longer blaming your parents, no matter how wonderful or the opposite of wonderful they may have been to you throughout your life, or your friends, or your bullies, or your colleagues, or your spouses, or your exes, or your girlfriends, or whatever your brothers, your sisters, your bullies, the list can go on and on and on. But the reality is they are not the reason why you are where you are today. The reason you are where you are financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually, just every part of your life is because of your decisions to do what you've done. And again, I'm only focusing on what you control. The things you don't control, obviously, are not your fault, are not your accountability, and you need to let them go. And therefore, that means what people think of you, none of your business. What people have done to you, that has nothing to do with you. And actually, this may help hurt people hurt so if someone hurt you in the past what if that was just a cry for help what if they were so miserable and misery loves company and they had to try to bring you down and maybe you let them and maybe you did not anymore you don't anymore and that's the point here the point is that it's very freeing when you understand that it's all your fault And again, it's kind of catchy and people, some of them get very offended. What do you mean it's my fault? That's too critical. Puts people in a bad place. No, it doesn't. You need to understand what I mean. And here I am to clarify it. What I mean that it's all your fault. I mean that you have the power to get anything you want in your life. And I don't care whether you're very religious or not so religious, you believe in God or believe in whatever you believe is not the the thing here. This has to do with you because God helps those who help themselves. And, you know, everything in your life is really a question of acceptance, a question of when you got comfortable, when you got on a certain frequency, and you said, this is my comfort point, this is where I'm going to be, then you can't go to the next level. You can't get to the next frequency. You know, if I go and I call you right now, okay, and I dial every single digit exactly, precisely, and you're in Honolulu, and I'm in Alaska, we're in two different, we're far away from each other, let's say, okay? I'm not geographically that perfect, so maybe it's closer than anything, but far away from each other, yeah? And I dial everything perfectly, but instead of a six at the end, I dial a seven, or an eight, or two, or one, or any other number but six. Guess what? I'm not going to get in touch with you. And therefore, in our life, it's not our past 
that's holding us back. It's not our family that's holding us back. It's not superstition that's holding you back. Oh, this is the bad time. Oh, my astrology says... That's nonsense. It's all nonsense. You need to reject it. Because whatever you conceive and believe you will achieve, but it's a very dangerous reality because if you believe things that don't serve you, they will literally hurt you. Things in the mind become things in the body. And therefore, what's disease? It's dis-ease. Dis-ease where? In the mind. And dis-ease in the mind translates into the body. So therefore, if there's something in your life you don't have, it's because of a choice you're making. You know, like, I look. I look at people's social media posts and I study them, you know? And, you know, and... When you go, if you actually go ahead and you study social media posts of people, all I see is the same theme again and again and again. I mean, not not everyone. Some people are beyond that, but I see the same theme again and again. And that theme is, oh, you know, I need to find someone who is going to understand not to be so bad to me this way or that way or treat me like this and do this like that and do this like that and blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not about that. It's not about what people will or won't do to you. Remember, whatever you put out into this world, you get back with interest lots and lots of interest and if you put out love you get back love if you put out hate you get back hate whatever you send out you're bringing back to yourself so instead of saying i need to find this perfect person why don't you say i need to become this ideal person whatever i'm looking for in a person great now are you the equivalent of that are you the person that's going to give people unconditional love are you the person that's going to wake up in the morning and say i love you i'm so passionate kiss them on their forehead treat them with love with passion with goodness with forgiveness with with just understanding that's really the question so that's what it is you know it's really about accountability and understanding that everything in your life that's not where it needs to be is redeemable it's you can change it by changing yourself okay you know Jim Rohn when he was I think like 25 years old he came to Earl Schof and he was dealing with him and Earl, Earl Schof told him listen maybe the best way I can help you is to hear about all the things in your life that not are not where they need to be you know and he gave him a whole list. I said, okay, great. Now, now, let me ask you, why is that the case? Why don't you have that abundance that you're looking for? Why are you in this situation? And Jim Rohn gave him a whole long list so he doesn't look too bad. He blamed the government. He blamed taxes. How are you supposed to make any money when nothing's left after you're paying taxes? He blamed his parents. He, and he kept blaming, blaming everybody and everyone and everything. And Earl Shove listened to him patiently. And when he was done, Earl Shove said, Perfect, I hear you. I only have one problem with your list. You're not on it. You see, you see, all the things that you want to complain about, all the things that you want to talk about, don't serve you. You see, blaming other people gives them your power. So take your power back by saying, I don't have the money I need in my life. It's my fault. I'm not happy. It's my fault. I am not able to do the things and go the place I want to go. It's my fault and I can fix me. I can't change anybody else but myself. And that's when you take your life back. That's when things start to get really good for you. So the message that I want you to walk away with in a loving, beautiful, passionate, happy, awesome way is that it's all your fault and you can change it. Sending you.